Hello, yes, advice to a young nationalist. I think that was the title of an article the late great John Tyndall wrote back in 1980, 81 was it, in Spearhead. An excellent article about the benefits of keeping fit and healthy, uh, strong body, strong mind and all that stuff uh, for the fight ahead. And don't forget, back in those times, in the early 80s, um, British nationalists were under constant real uh, attacks uh, from the Reds and from the state. Not the uh, stuff Mark Colette talks about in his video uh, on depression. He went through three years of, of hell being attacked by the Reds and the state. When were you physically beaten up by the Reds? I don't ever remember once, right? Ever. And regarding uh, being under constant attack from the Reds and the state, when we were under real constant threat and attack from the Reds, not so much the state, the Reds, the state will only come after you when you break the law, right? Which unfortunately you did, right? So, but attacks from the Reds, we wore that uh, like a badge of honour. It didn't make us depressed or the police hounding us trying to arrest us and jail us for defending ourselves, right? We, that didn't depress us. Again, we wore it with a badge of honour. Those that went to jail were proud of it, right? With their heads uh, held high. I never went on the, uh, uh, on the uh, protection wing when I went to jail. I went on the normal location, stood there, come what may. We wore it with a badge of honour. None of us were depressed. But anyway, anyway. Uh, John Tyndall, this article, Advice to a Young National, it's very, very good. If anyone has it, please send me it. You see, I make this video for several reasons. Is discipline is the key, and I'll tell you why, right? Discipline will strengthen your resolve. I now, religiously, for about a year, get up in the morning and have cold showers. I'm making this video now about 9am. I've got a cold shower before, about 7am. Uh, I get cold showers religiously every morning and they do strengthen you, they test your resolve, they uh, take you out of your comfort zone, they are good and that's why I continue doing what I'm doing, I'm strong, I'm disciplined, right, unlike Mark Colette with his depression video, giving advice over depression, the man of the world, what traumatic, catastrophic events have you been through, go on, tell me exactly none. Right? You've had no physical confrontation with the Reds like we used to on a weekly basis, Nick Griffin, um, Richard Edmonds, uh, they'll remember all them, uh, them times. So, we, you know, we wore it with a badge of honour, right? You know, we didn't uh, look upon it as some traumatic event. Oh, this is too much, I'm suffering depression. You know, it was, as I say, we wore it like a badge of honour. It didn't... Uh, deterred us, it made us stronger, it strengthened our resolve to continue pushing British nationalism on the streets of Britain. But anyway, I now get cold showers of a morning, religiously, and they are cold, trust me, they are cold. And some advice if you want to embark upon them, is go straight for the juggler, have it as cold as you can, don't have it lukewarm and all that stuff. Get in it, if you're only in it for 10 seconds, great, continue. I get them for about a minute to two minutes and they are cold and they don't get any easier. The uh, cold water doesn't turn to warm water after a while when you get uh, used to it. They don't. They're challenging every day, literally, right? But they strengthen my resolve. They discipline me. Now, I've given this advice today in this video without attacking Facebook. Uh, computer games, Amy Winehouse, George Michael, whatever. You don't need to because it's not going to change anything, right? And, well, we know why Collett's doing that. We know exactly why he's doing it. You know, but discipline is the key, right? When we were fighting the Reds back in the late 70s, right through to the 80s, they were hard times, right? And we had to, you know, we had to keep our wits about us and we had to take... Uh, other, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, we'd have to make sure we were in a position where if we were attacked and outnumbered, we were in possession of various items that were gonna help us <laughs> stay alive and uh, not get put in hospital. So it was a constant cat and mouse game, not only with the Reds, but with the police. But like I say, none of us suffered depression, 
Oh my God, what a fanny you are. I'll tell you something about myself and about politics and the ideology I followed back then. When I was uh, on remand in 1997, 98 for murder, there was people on the high security wing, the Cat A wing where I was housed, made comments about how it never, don't seem to be bothered. Haven't cried, haven't panicked, haven't moaned, and they were quite impressed at my resolve. Now, what made me strong and get through that was my politics without a doubt, right? Not the whining, whinging nonsense Mark Collard's coming out with, right? I disciplined myself and my ideology is what pulled me through and that's sadly lacking now. But if anyone comes across the article, it's an excellent article and I suggest you read it. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm off the gym now. Okay, thank you.